at is the ionization of acids and bases, and we're going to look at the, what, an idea called the conjugate of an acid or the conjugate of a base. All right. So, um, firstly, we know that we know that acids donate protons. Okay, to start with. Okay, and we know that if a uh, if a proton is donated to a water molecule, then we know that so acids donate H pluses. Now, if this proton here is donated by an acid to a water molecule, so we if we have an acid. Sending a H plus proton to a water molecule. Okay, so we've got a water molecule here. We've got an acid that's just released a, a proton, okay, and it's sending it towards here, towards the water molecule. Then what we're going to end up with is H three O plus, okay, a hydronium ion. Okay, so we're starting off with H two O obviously gaining a positive charge and an extra hydrogen so obviously the result is going to be H3O plus or hydronium ion okay similarly we know that bases accept protons okay and so if a base accepts a proton from a, uh, a water molecule. So say we have a base here, right? and we have a water molecule. Okay, so we've got a water molecule and a base, and the water molecule sends a proton over here. Okay, then what we're going to be left with base is going to accept this, this proton, okay, and this water molecule is going to now have one proton less, okay. So we can look at that logically. It's going to have one less hydrogen, okay, and one less positive charge, which means it's going to have a negative charge, and it's going to be a hydroxide ion. Okay, so basically when an acid reacts with water, it produces hydronium ions. When a base reacts with water, it produces hydroxide ions, okay. And so now we're going to have a look at what, what the definition of a strong acid or a strong base is, as opposed to a weak acid or a weak base. Okay, basically, if we have a strong acid, okay, and if we have a strong acid, if we have a strong acid or a strong base, what this means is that the reaction with water, you know, this reaction that I've outlined on this side here. This reaction with water is going to go to completion. So we're going to say it completely reacts with water. Okay, and what that means is that if we, you know, add a a given amount of an acid to a to a cup of water, that acid is going to completely dissolve or ionize or however you want to describe it. It's going to completely react with water, and we're not going to have any molecules of the acid left. Okay, of the of the acid in its in its entirety of the whole acid molecule left. Okay. All of the all of the acid molecules are going to donate protons to water molecules, so completely react with water. Okay, but on the other hand, a weak acid or a weak base is by definition one that only partially reacts with water. Okay, so that means that if we add, you know, a gram of uh, oh, sorry, a liter of hydrochloric acid solution. Then you know maybe only only sort of half of that hydrochloric acid solution, well not hydrochloric acid because as I've said hydrochloric acid is a strong acid. But if we add a weak acid, a liter of a weak acid to water, okay, then what we're going to see is that that whole liter will not react. Okay, maybe half of that liter, maybe a quarter of that liter will react, but the left, but the re the rest will remain. Uh, unchanged, so partial react, partially reacting water. Okay, and the important thing here is to really not get confused about one important point. Okay, strong acids and strong bases, these terms here have nothing to do with concentration, okay, and that's really important, okay. So this is not 
Okay, Str a strong acid does not mean it's got a high concentration. Okay, it refers to just the nature of the acid itself. Okay, we can have, you know, a really weak solution of a strong acid or a really strong solution of a strong acid. Okay, and it will still behave in the same way. So concentration. So this is not the same as concentration. Okay, that's really important. Okay, and so now you may be wondering, you know, what's a strong acid and how do I figure out what a strong acid is or a weak acid is? And the same with bases. Well, we don't look at the concentration. We just look at the type of acid or base that we're dealing with. Okay, so I've got a list here. Now, this is basically a finite list of the, of the, of the strong acids and strong bases that you'll be dealing with. And so these four, these four acids are what we call strong acids, and they completely react with water to produce lots of hydronium ions. And strong bases will react completely with water to produce lots of hydroxide ions, okay? But any other acid or base that you can come across is not considered a strong acid or base, okay? Every other acid or base that's not on this list that you that you will come across will be considered a weak acid or a weak base, and for, and for that and therefore will partially react with water, okay? It will not completely react. There'll still be some acid or base left over after the reaction with water, okay? And so. That, that's kind of the definition of how of how we how we decide, I guess, if an acid's strong or weak. You know, if it's on this list, basically, we need to we need to remember this list, okay? But when when this reaction with water takes place, okay, we've got and so we've got this reaction taking place as I've outlined up here. So let's write out the chemical equation for it. We've got the acid, okay. So we just we're just going to refer to it as an acid here, rather than a uh, Give it a specific uh, specific type of acid. So if we have an acid and water, okay, then we know that a hydronium ion is produced, okay, and what's left over is what we call, okay, this is called the conjugate base. Alright, and in the same way, so this is kind of like opposites, yeah? These kind of go in a pair, this acid and this conjugate base. Okay, and in the same way, if we have a base and water, okay, it's going to produce hydroxide plus a conjugate acid. Okay, so again, this conjugate acid and the base are kind of like a pair. You can, you can go back and forth between these two. Okay, so we've got a conjugate acid. So we, same way we've called this an acid and a conjugate base, if we were just to call this a base, then this would be its conjugate acid. Okay, so these are basically a pair. All right, so say that if this is a base and this is its conjugate acid, we can say that this that this is the conjugate base of this acid. All right, so that's, that might be a little bit confusing, but we're going to sort of examine exactly how we figure out what a conjugate base or acid is. So we know that an acid reacts with water to produce a hydronium ion, okay, by, by giving it a, a single proton, okay. So a conjugate base is basically the acid. So this conjugate base... Okay, all it is is it's an acid. It's, it's, it's the I guess it's, its formula for this substance is the acid minus a H plus, okay, minus a proton. Okay, so for example, if we have H2SO4, if H2SO4 is the acid, then its conjugate base will be HSO4 minus. Okay, so that's basically all that is. Okay, and here. The conjugate acid of a given base is equal to the base plus a proton. Okay, so if we have, you know, uh, an ammonium ion here, not an ammonium ion, if we have an NH2 minus ion here, okay, we want to figure out its conjugate acid. This is a base, so it has a conjugate acid. Then we add a proton to it, and we have NH2 
okay? And so we see that NH3 is the conjugate acid of this ion here, okay? We've added a, a proton to it, and you can see that, that the result is, is this ammonia molecule, okay? And in the same way, if we were given this, this molecule, which can act as an acid, then we would say that its conjugate base is this ion here, okay? We've lost one proton, as when this acted as a base, it lost one proton and produced this, its conjugate base. Okay, in the same way, if we treat HSO4- minus hydrogen sulfate ion as a base, okay, then we can say, oh, okay, its conjugate acid is going to be sulfuric acid, okay, because we're going to add one proton to this. We're going to add one H plus to this hydrogen sulfate, and we're going to end up with H2SO4, okay? So we'll do an example in another video. Um, sort of deal with strong acids and bases and their conjugates.